Hi, my name is Sue M and welcome again here at MH Innovations. Thank you for joining our page. Thank you for keeping it locked here. And so today we have another informative video for you. We're going to be helping you know how to get rid of pollen and dust in your home. So here at MH Innovations, we want to give you some tips on how to get rid of the pollen and the dust around your home. Well, for one, you need proper ventilation in your space. And you also need to make sure that you are constantly wiping surfaces, getting rid of the dust around your home. Another tip and trick is to get a humidifier and put some essential oils in it to help clean the air in your home. It's very important that you take care of your home and you limit the amount of dust and pollen in your home because it can cause other allergies. Skin allergies can be triggered by dust, eczema can be triggered by dust and pollen in your home, as well as sinuses that some people in your home might be dealing with. People can be allergic to different types of pollen. For instance, some people are allergic to pollen from only beech trees. Others are allergic to pollen from only certain types of grasses. Pollen is a common component of the household dust and may be true cause of dust allergy. Regular house cleaning can get rid of many allergy triggers and help relieve your symptoms. It helps to know some cleaning tips, common mistakes, shampooing carpets or using heavily scented cleaners could make your allergies even worse. It's important that you vacuum at least once or twice a week and make sure that your vacuum has a HEPA filter. Cut the clutter. Piles of boxes of clothing can trap dust and hide allergens like dust mites and cockroaches. Well, that's it from us here at MH Innovations. Be sure to call us because we want to handle all your cleaning needs. We want to make sure you stay in a home that's healthy, safe and clean and that you can enjoy during this time of the year. And so that is it from us here at MH Innovations. Until next time, do keep it locked.